Hey everyone, it's Nathan Orenstein with The No Show here to talk about Malcolm and Marie. Malcolm and Marie is written and directed by Sam Levinson and stars Zendaya and John David Washington. It is available to stream on Netflix. Malcolm and Marie begins with the two of them getting home from the wildly successful premiere of Malcolm's directorial debut. Malcolm is super excited and wants to celebrate all night. Meanwhile, it's very clear that something's up with Marie and Malcolm starts to sense that. What follows is about a hundred minutes of fighting and whining. I'll tell you right away that I don't think this is a very good movie, and I really didn't enjoy it very much at all either. But before we get into all that, I do want to start with the positives. The most immediate thing that stands out here is that it's shot in black and white. Whenever a modern film is shot in black and white, it often comes off as gimmicky or pretentious, but here I really don't think that's the case. This movie looks really, really good, and... It really enhances the emotions of the film, and I don't think we would have gotten that as much if this was just shot in color. The cinematography is also really good and plays well with the black and white format. And the final piece of this kind of mood or atmosphere I want to talk about is the score. It's appropriately moody and sparse, and once again works really well with the black and white to kind of heighten the emotions of the film. Malcolm and Marie has also been garnering a lot of praise for the two lead performances and the direction from Sam Levinson. Personally, I'm a bit split on this. I do think Zendaya and John David Washington do a really good job here, and they truly become the characters that they're playing. Unfortunately, I just can't really say the same with the direction, though. Like I said earlier, I think this film does a really good job of establishing a mood and an aesthetic right off the bat, and director Sam Levinson has to be commended for that. On the other hand, I just can't say the same thing about how he actually directs the actors here. Malcolm as a character is consistent throughout the film, but Marie honestly feels like three or four different people over the course of this movie. And I do think this was a conscious decision by Sam Levinson, because I get that people's emotions and their personalities change in the heat of a big fight, I just don't think it really worked here. Marie kind of came across as a puppet that Sam Levinson was kind of manipulating in order to mirror the energy that Malcolm was giving off. It was like, if Malcolm changes the discussion, then Marie's character would completely shift to match that tone. In my opinion, her character ultimately felt completely fabricated by the end of the film, even though Malcolm felt like he could be an actual person. This kind of bleeds into the writing here, which is kind of the focal point of this movie, and to put it lightly, the writing is exhausting. Imagine this, you and your significant other, something small happens, and all of a sudden it just starts this big fight, and all these welled up emotions come out, and like seemingly unrelated things just start getting thrown around, and you guys are being unnecessarily cruel, and you're yelling, and the conversation's not going anywhere, it's just going in circles. That sucks, right? Now imagine watching another couple do that for almost two hours straight. That's Malcolm and Marie. But wait, there's more. In between the various rounds of fighting they do, Malcolm luckily finds the time to whine about Hollywood, the film industry, criticism, and how his film was received. It's all incredibly obnoxious and pretentious, and it just feels like a very thin veil for Sam Levinson to just complain about the, crit the criticism his show Euphoria has received. This whole movie kind of just feels like catharsis for Sam Levinson, and it doesn't result in a film that is worth watching at all. Malcolm and Marie is as stubborn as its two main characters, and while it does present a few thought-provoking moments, it ultimately just feels like anger for anger's sake most of the time. Malcolm and Marie is not a movie that I can personally recommend to anyone. Yes, it looks fantastic. Yes, the performances are consistently pretty great throughout the entire thing, but the script does so much to undermine all of this. And when the entirety of your movie is basically one single conversation, you better have a good script. Instead, we get nearly two hours of fighting and complaining, and it's as uninviting as it sounds. I'm going to be giving Malcolm and Marie a 4 out of 10. If you enjoyed the review, then feel free to like and subscribe if you're new. And if you've seen Malcolm and Marie already, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. I've been Nathan Orenstein with The No Show. Thanks for watching.